Hey, this is Ron, and I'm here with Elizabeth. Elizabeth, and uh, I wanted to ask uh, Elizabeth, just for everyone else out there, you know, what are the top three compelling reasons that you've seen to switch from CRM four to CRM twenty eleven, and what are those? Okay, well, I you know I think there's a lot of reasons why you'd switch. Um, you know, I, I guess there's a lot of new features that uh, that really help organizations that are. Um, careful about protecting their data and making sure that the right people is, are looking at the right set of data um, and being able to go back and audit uh, people who've been accessing data, manipulating data. Um, so for financial institutions or healthcare organizations, places like that, um, some of the new features around field level security and auditing and role based forms within CRM are going to be very valuable. So right. you can now say that specific fields can only be accessed by certain roles. Yeah. And then you can go back and you can look and say, well, who's been editing my, my records and see exactly right. what has been changed and what it was changed from and to, which is very valuable and... and um, oh, we've talked about that in the past. That, that That's really cool. I, mm -hmm. I really do like that yeah. field. I mean, we could do um, field level security before, but it was JavaScript and yeah. it was actually quite complicated. It was a, it was a customization and, you know, yeah. We all know how those go in, in right. CRM, so... Okay, yeah. now I'm going to keep you moving along okay. here. The second thing that you find most compelling to upgrade is... Well, um, the whole uh, CRM for Outlook has been rewritten, um, so it's all new um, from the ground up, and uh, so one of the things that's really cool about it is that all of the Outlook functionality that we have in Outlook is now available to apply on CRM records. Um, so, and that's really powerful because now you can basically set, set up a rule and categorize your records um, using that Outlook functionality. Right. But you're, access, you're acting on the records in CRM. Oh, okay. So things like categories against... So right. I could play around with that and I could actually do things, I guess, like um, take my existing opportunities and I can create a category that's my opportunities today even and apply yeah. it and then have those shown. Definitely. Oh wow, okay, that's very cool. I like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so field level security, um, the Outlook client is mm -hmm. rewritten yeah. and adds that functionality. And I know it's hard to limit you to three, but mm -hmm. we talked about this before. Yeah. We said, okay, let's just come up with three, yeah. otherwise we're going to go on forever. So quickly, what's the third thing? That... I would say that the third reason would be the uh, SharePoint integration with CRM. Right. Um, so now within CRM on, say, an opportunity, um, you can automatically integrate with, with SharePoint and actually automatically provision a uh, document library for a given opportunity. And that's good. I, I like that because I still go back to that. People are using SharePoint a lot nowadays mm -hmm. and they're using it for more than it probably should be. They're, with metadata tags, they're creating structured data systems and they probably should be using a structured data system like CRM mm -hmm. to capture the data and unstructured data system like SharePoint for document management. But, you, but you're even talking more than that, Absolutely. aren't you? You're talking well, about if you that. even flip that, so that's definitely true. And then if you flip that the other way and you say, well, you know, in a typical sales cycle, we produce a lot of documents. Right. And where's the appropriate place to store those? And yeah. so, is it against know, the contact? Is it against the account? Is right. it against the opportunity? And if you've established SharePoint as, uh, you know, your document management system, then yeah. it makes a lot of sense to store that. And so in CRM 4, we saw a lot of organizations uh, writing custom code to be able to integrate with SharePoint um, and to do the provisioning. And so now we're seeing CRM doing it out of the box. Okay, very cool. Hey, we've probably run really long on this video now, but um, it's three things that you found compelling to go from 4 to 2011. Field level security, uh, the Outlook clients rewritten, and SharePoint integration. Yep, Very nice. It. Okay, excellent. I like it. Elizabeth, where can people find you on the web? At knowledgetech.com. Knowledge and I'm rondatusti.com, and I'm at Knowledge Tech.